Hello and welcome, this is Ederald and in this episode of GregTech I will be showing you storage blocks in GregTech along with some other miscellaneous blocks. So let's get started. Well first of all I'm going to show you a block that I forgot to mention in, my, uh, in the first episode, it's a power generation block that's called the lightning rod and it's crafted with four highly advanced machine blocks, one super condensator and four energy flow circuits. Uh, you place it in the world, anywhere, and you want to grab yourself some iron fences and put them on the top. Now, uh, the purpose of this block is to uh, gather the energy from lightning and turn it into you. So the higher you put the iron fences, the higher the chance you're going to get when a thunderstorm uh, occurs of getting some lightning. So you want to make this uh, as high as possible and you could also put them, put the iron fences on the side to increase the chance that uh, you'll get energy from lightning. Uh, so since this mod generates 8192 packages, one possible way to gather the energy from it would be to put um, four HV transformers. You can put them on the sides and they will turn the 8192 package into 16 uh, 512 packages which you can just uh, which you can manage better. Next up we've got the charge mat. The charge mat is a charging block which you craft with four energy flow circuits, two chests, one advanced uh, machine block, one lapotronic energy orb and one Greg Tech computer cube. Uh, this it has this interface where it shows you to the right your current armor and if I equip a gravity suit that's empty to um, test this and I equip it, it's gonna start charging it up as soon as I click the interface. Now it's a little bit slow but if I put it on the left side it will start charging it much faster and you see the energy bar is draining much faster and when it's on charging it's gonna put it on this in, uh, interface to the right where you can equip it uh, again and it'll be equipped in the world. Uh, next up we've got the adjustable energy storage unit able to store a hundred million EU which it can accept at um, with packages of 2048 EU. So you place it in the world, it looks like this. This is the output side and the other ones are the input sides. Uh, you can, one cool thing about this block is that, that you can config configure the output. You can tell it the output as in a certain uh, package size like this up to a maximum of 2048 and it also has this, that neat interface where it shows you your, your armor so you can just put it directly to charge if you want. An upgraded version of the adjustable energy storage unit is the interdimensional energy storage unit which is capable of storing a thousand million EU and it inputs uh, the energy input, it takes 2048 EU packages and it outputs 2048 EU packages and it's made with four adjustable energy storage units, four iridium plates and one ender chest. So how does it work? Well you place it in the world like this, this is the output side and it gets input from any of the other sides and it has this interface. It's very similar to the adjustable energy storage unit uh, it also has an ID which corresponds to the player that plays the block and um, basically no matter how many you place of these uh, interdimensional search units they're all gonna be linked so if you if we put some energy in the first one the others are gonna uh, start getting the same amount of energy as you can see it's filling up with energy and if I check another one it's got the same amount because they're all really the same block this is um, really useful for transferring energy uh, between dimensions or wirelessly. Now the cool thing about this as well is that if you take all of this off and replace them in the world, it won't have lost any energy because it's linked to you. Uh, another type of storage units you can use is the combination of Lapotronic energy storage units with LESU blocks. The um, storage unit, uh, the storage units you can craft like this with an MV, MV transformer, LV transformer, two advanced circuits, and one LESU block, and you place it in the world like this. 
uh, this is the output side and these are all the inputs and it has an interface which looks like um, which looks like this same interface as the other storage units and it can store up to a million U takes up to 30 UEU packages and outputs 5 up to 5 uh, EU packages however you can upgrade this structure uh, with LESU blocks which you can craft with 8 lapis lazuli blocks and 1 electronic circuit or you can use um, chunk of lazurite instead of blocks of lapis lazuli and you just place them uh, connected to this structure like this and each block of um, LESU will upgrade the structure by 1 million EU storage plus it'll be a, it'll make it, make it able to output one more EU per package so if I put four more it'll have 6 million EU and now it can output 10 um, so you can basically upgrade this uh, structure uh, however however much you want and then it'll keep getting better and then you can input energy in any of these um, uh, to any of these blocks. Now, next up, we've got. Oh, actually, we've got here. I've got set up a player detector over there, which is green when it doesn't detect any player, and it'll turn red as soon as it detects a player in the vicinity, and it, it's gonna emit a redstone signal, which uh, will have a strength depending on how close the player is to the block. So you can see, it just went up, and now it's at maximum. Um, the player detector you craft like this with a Greg Tech computer cube, two data storage circuits and two advanced circuits and you can right click it to change how it's gonna work so you can say to detect all players, only other players or only you and it requires energy now um, we've got the super condensators and super condensator wire super condensator wire is basically the highest tier of wire it's able to transfer any amount of energy or 2 billion which is in practical terms uh, you know any amount and then you've got the super condensator oh and it doesn't have energy any energy loss as far as i know uh, then we have the super condensator which is a transformer for higher tier energy it can transform packages of up to 1 million EU into packages of 8192 EU and it looks like this now you input the energy in any of these sites and this one will be the output next up we've got the uh, scrap boxinator which I've set up here it needs energy uh, accepts up to 32 pa uh, EU packages and you craft it with an advanced machine block, one electric item clearer, one dispenser, one pressure plate, electronic circuit and four electron plates. Uh, how it works is you give it energy, uh, you can connect a chest to the output side and it will take either scrap or scrap boxes and after a little bit of time it will start processing them and it will generate output and put it in the uh, chest so you can see it generated all of this which is you know, normal output of uh, scrap boxes it also it can use scrap but of course it will generate less and it will just take a little bit of time um, the NEI button here will actually show you what the scrap boxes can give you with the percentages you see it generated more. Alright, next up we've got the uh, quantum tank which is basically a one block uh, super high capacity tank, I've set one here, I'm giving it a constant f uh, input of tritium and so far it's got stored 6 million. Now apparently it's able to store I think 468 chunks worth of liquid which amounts to about 32 million according to my calculations um, you can use cell to, cells to take liquid out you can pump liquid out from it and it's basically a one box one block super high capacity tank uh, you craft it like this you use four platinum plates four energy flow circuits and a quantum chest which we'll take a look um, in a little bit uh, here you've got a digital chest which is able to store um, 
eight times uh, 512 stacks of items, I think. Um, it says it, it it's eight times better than a barrel. It's referring to factorization barrels. And it, it, you place it like this, and you craft it like this, with a data orb, seven refined iron plates, and one computer monitor. And it basically acts uh, pretty much as a barrel. You can store anything you want in it, but only one type, and first you click it to set the type. So I'm going to click it once, uh, and then it put the iron inside, and now it's only going to store iron. And if you right click, it'll tell you how much you have of it. Uh, if you left click, not in creative mode, uh, it's going to be better. Uh, if you left click, then you'll get 64 out. If you right click, you'll put uh, one stack in. You can shift and left click to get just one out. Uh, you can just, you know, left. If you have two stacks of iron, for example, you can uh, double click, right click, and then it'll put them all in. And if you if it's empty and you try to put something that's not iron ingots, then it will fail and it'll tell you you have zero of iron ingot. So it will uh, memorize what you put at first and it will only store that item. Uh, if you wrench it though, it'll lose, it'll forget what item it had stored inside. An upgrade to the um, digital chest is the quantum chest, which requires a digital chest, four uh, data orbs, two highly advanced machine blocks, one teleporter, and one computer monitor. This is able to store uh, two billion items and it works exactly the same way as the digital chest. But it stores two billion items. Here we have an advanced safe that says this is completely safe except against explosions. Well, this advanced safe is able to store 27 stacks of uh, any item. It actually has an interface. Um, it'll be linked to the player that places in in the world and you can actually pipe items in with tubes or pipes and you can tell it only to pipe only to accept a certain kind of item with this um, with this icon here the only way to open this chest if you're not the player that put it is to use uh, nukes if you just use normal TNT uh, it won't break it uh, I'm not sure about industrial TNT let's test if that breaks it But uh, not even server admins are able to break this block, or you know, OPs. Now that doesn't break it. However, if we place a nuke next to a private chest, um, advanced safe, I mean, and make sure I'm far enough, the nuke will. Uh, open the chest. But of course it'll leave a huge hole. And there you have it, the chest has vanished and any contents that it could have had um, they would be spread all over the ground if I had put anything inside. So, now we've got some uh, decorative uh, storage blocks. But let me get rid of the poison first. Alright, well, I've gone ahead and placed them over there to show you how they work. Um, you can craft the... there's a wood type, you can craft with six wood and two aluminium plates. Uh, it only stores these types of items, uh, as far as I know and they look like this. If you store books, if you store paper, it looks like this, then you can store uh, food cans and you can store maps, which kind of looks like paper. It looks exactly like paper. Then there, there's the uh, metal version which uh, you craft with uh, six refined iron plates and two aluminium plates and it works ex exactly the same. Uh, then you have the file cabinet which you craft by putting a metal NK, NK shelf in the crafting table works exactly the same but except it doesn't it won't show you the items you got stored but you can take them out uh, then you've got the 
Metal encased desks, which you craft by putting a file cabinet into a crafting table, work exactly the same. And finally the compartment, which you craft by putting a metal encased desk in a crafting table. And it works exactly the same, it'll only store those items. And it's mainly meant to be a decorative block. Um, and here we have the machine box. The machine box is a block that um, accepts packages up to 32U, uh, outputs packages up to 32U, and it also accepts upgrades um, of uh, energy capacity and as well as transformers. And you craft it like this. You put um, aluminium machine, machine hull and machine parts. You can also use uh, bronze machine hull or machine frames from thermal expansion or a machine block. So uh, this block, you could use it as a storage block if you, for example, upgraded its capacity with some upgrades and then like put some transformers. It could be used as a wire, you know, it, it could have several possibilities. Um, last block is the Sonictron. Sonictron is able to play music, it's able to play uh, songs. Uh, actually, before the Sonictron, I'm going to show you these blocks, which are the redstone node block. The redstone node block are crafted with four node blocks and one aluminium machine hull, uh, hole, and just the same as the um, other block, you can use other types of um, you know machine block or machine frames or etc and then you get it um, so this is like an upgraded version of a node block you can click on a side with a wrench to change sound between you know six different types and depending on the redstone signal strength you put you apply to it it'll emit a different pitch so just here So those are three different pitches. Um, I've wrenched all of these machines on the top, and that's why they're generating a similar sound. Just you know, since I'm using a different so redstone signal, they sound a little bit different. And now for the Sonictron, the Sonictron um, is crafted like this, with uh, two node blocks, one advanced machine block for circuits, one jukebox, and one of the music discs. And it has an interface like this, which kind of looks like a partiture. Uh, so you can just click around, left click, and then it'll show you a different block, meaning that it's gonna make a different sound. Uh, it'll, if you right click on a block, you can change the uh, type of sound it's gonna make. And for example, if you chose the uh, music discs and you right click, then you can choose a different disc even though the image is not changing uh, you know, shape. Now you've got this uh, composition here, to make it work you just apply a redstone signal. And there you have it. And it'll uh, keep playing until a redstone signal is taken away from it. However the song, Meloy in this case, will keep playing until it's finished. So those are the storage blocks of Greg Tech and a few other miscellaneous blocks. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and I'll see you next time.